thank you very much for uh, asking me to come and give this lightning talk uh, called uh, Cookies. What cookies? It's been almost a decade since the European Union introduced legislation that was designed to give us, the user, the right to refuse cookies on our machine. Uh, it was considered a pretty significant step forward for privacy. Uh, and ever since then, 2011, uh, websites that receive EU traffic have had cookie consent notices plastered all over them in various obvious, if irritating ways. Unless that is, you happen to be blind and use a screen reader like me. So we're going to go on a quick adventure now and see if we can actually find any of these cookie consent uh, notices. So we're going to start with Meetup. And I'm just going to show you a, a series now of quick videos uh, that are me earlier exploring some websites, starting with meetup.com. Uh, in the vain attempt to try and find a cookie notice. So here's the first effort. We are what we do meet up Mozilla Firefox, private browsing, link skip to content. We use cookies to offer you a better experience and to analyze site traffic. By continuing to browse this site, you agree to this use of cookies. Link manage cookies, button continue. First attempt, we found a cookie consent notice. What I was doing there, just to orient you if you're not familiar with the screen reader, was uh, listening to the title of the page first, and then just using the screen reader's say all command to just start reading the page from the very top. This worked really well. We found the cookie notice. The problem is nobody reads a web page from top to bottom, not anyone who can look at it, and certainly not anyone who uses a screen reader in the same way that sighted people will scan around looking for links or headings or likely bits of the page, uh, screen readers have keyboard commands that let us do pretty much the same thing. So in the same way that no one sighted sits there and reads every link, every word, every hiccup on the page, uh, I don't sit there and do the same thing with my screen reader. What I'm much more likely to do is something like use headings. We have a shortcut key, H, in Windows screen readers quite often, that lets you jump to the first heading on the page. And here's what happens again on the Meetup site. We are what we do Meetup Mozilla Firefox, private browsing. Main landmark the real world is calling heading level one. Events near you heading level two. So, not only straight past the cookie notice, but that second heading that I navigated to visually disappears somewhere behind the visible cookie notice that's plastered across the bottom of the page. And I can keep going like this indefinitely. I can use the whole of this website without ever going anywhere near that cookie banner. And quite often, even without being aware it exists at all, because my common practice is to wait for a page to load, hit the heading key, go to the first heading on the page, and then get on with what I want to do from there. So let's try another example, Amazon. Surely they must have got it right. Okay, uh, this time I'll wade straight in and try it with heading navigation, my custom practice. Amazon.co.uk, low prices in electronics, books, sports equipment, and more Mozilla Firefox, private browsing. Main landmark clickable keeping our people safe heading level two. Okay, so really useful. I got the page title, then jumped straight to the main content area of the page and the first heading, straight past the cookie notice. Now, admittedly, on Amazon's site, as far as I'm aware, the cookie notice isn't that visibly obvious either. Uh, but for attempt one, I'm completely unaware of it. So I'll go back and have another go and do what I did on the Meetup site. I'll try the boring read from the top of the page and see what happens. Amazon.co.uk Low prices in electronics, books, sports equipment, and more Mozilla Firefox. Private browsing. Skip to main content. Banner landmark navigation landmark button open menu. Link Amazon.co.uk link try prime. Link hello. Sign in. Link account and lists. Link returns. Link and orders. Okay, and if you're not completely bored to tears already, um, 
pretty much nothing is going to bore you. So reading the page from top to bottom is just not something I've got the patience to do. So I'll try one more thing and that's, I'll try navigating by links. Um, headings are a bit too overarching, a bit too high level. Reading every word on the page is, is too slow, it's too granular. So maybe just navigating by links will give me something in between. Try Prime Link. Zero items in shopping basket link. Best sellers link. Prime video link. Books link. New releases link. Customer service link. Home and garden link. Gift ideas link. Electronics link. Gift cards and top up link. PC link. Free delivery link. Sell link. Shopper toolkit link. Today's deals link. Main landmark clickable previous page unavailable link. List clickable with one items prime video graphic link. Clickable next page link. Learn more. Keeping our people safe graphic link. So, okay, still not the quickest way to go navigating through a page if you happen to use a screen reader. And what made it even worse is that I actually went straight through the cookie notice. But because Amazon have used really bad link text, learn more, I was completely unaware that that actually meant learn more about their cookie information. So uh, link text needs to be really specific about where it goes precisely for this reason. If you happen to be navigating by links and you use a screen reader, you're not paying any attention to the nearby content and you can very, very easily miss the thing you were looking for. So, okay, strike out for Amazon. Let's try a bank. Lloyds Bank, uh, surely as, as an organization really interested in, in regulatory compliance, uh, they're gonna get the cookie notice thing wrong. Uh, right. So again, I'll use my heading navigation, but this time uh, not coming across anything in the uh, immediate navigation, I'm going to just go through to the actual login page of the bank, because surely you know, at that point, I'll see some kind of cookie notice. Lloyds Bank Personal Banking, Personal Finances, and Bank Accounts Mozilla Firefox, Private Browsing, Log on to Internet Banking Heading Level 3, Personal Visited Link, Lloyds Bank Welcome to in User ID, Edit. So the interesting thing about this website is I have actually yet to find the cookie notice. Uh, I, I've been back several times and I actually can't find it at all, no matter how hard I try. But if it was available on that second page, the really killer feature about this page, the autofocus being grabbed to that form field, meant that if it was in the top part of the content, it wouldn't have mattered how I navigated through the page because that choice had been taken out of my hands with the autofocus. So one of the reasons that hijacking keyboard focus is something you only ever really want to do with a degree of caution. Um, it's kind of a discourteous thing to do. So unless you're absolutely sure that somebody wants their keyboard focus taken somewhere, uh, it's generally safer not to do it. So those are cookie notices that are next to impossible or completely impossible to find. But there's an additional problem that I quite frequently come across with cookie notices, and that's that the information inside them isn't as accessible as it needs to be for me to be able to understand what it is I'm consenting to, uh, or uh, it's implemented in such a way that I'm not entirely sure whether I've really accessed all the information I need. So let's have a quick look at The Guardian for some examples of this. News, sport, and opinion from The Guardian's UK edition The Guardian Mozilla Firefox, private browsing. Main landmark news, sport, and opinion from The Guardian's UK edition heading level 1. List with one items if you can read this then something has gone wrong heading level 1. Guardian Labs heading level 1. Your privacy heading level 1. Partners button. Show information that may be used button collapsed. List with five items type of browser and its settings. Cookie information. Information about other identifiers assigned to the device. The IP address from which the device accesses a client's website or mobile application. Show information that may be used button collapsed. Expanded. So there's a whole bunch of things going on here. I'm assuming the, if you can see this, then something has gone terribly wrong heading is not actually visible uh, to, to anyone looking at the page. The irony of that, um, I won't really remark on. But uh, using heading navigation, I can at least on this website get to something that says it's the privacy notice and that's really quite nice. 
the problem here comes when I get down to the uh, disclosure widget, the button that uh, offers me more information about the purposes that my data will be put to. I carried on reading with my uh, screen reader and I got the list of five different items already. I then backtracked to the button and expanded it, at which point those same five items became visible on the screen. But from my point of view, I knew something had expanded because the button state changed and my screen reader told me that, but the data hadn't actually changed on the page. Those five items in that list were there for me anyway. So if I accept these cookies, am I accepting something that gives me, you know, on the basis that I, I read those five items? Is there more that I should be seeing that I can't because it's been implemented in such a way that I didn't see what was disclosed? Have I already seen what's disclosed and I'm okay, I know all I need to know? It's not a really good basis to make a decision uh, about accepting anything, um, certainly not relating to privacy. So I'll wrap up now with a good example, because there has to be at least one out there. And uh, the hats off go to Atlassian in this case. Atlassian Software Development and Collaboration Tools Mozilla Firefox, Private Browsing, Button Close, Heading Level 2 Cookie Notice. This site uses cookies to improve your browsing experience, perform analytics and research, and conduct advertising. To change your preferences, click cookie settings. Otherwise, clicking on the, the website, closing the banner, or clicking accept all cookies indicates you agree to our use of cookies on your device. Link Atlas Xi'an cookies and tracking notice. Clickable button accept all cookies. Button cookie settings. So apart from an atrocious inability to pronounce the name of the company properly, uh, my screen reader read the cookie notice because that's all it could read on this page. As soon as you go to Atlassian.com, you get an overlay that opens up. I knew this because there was a close button. That's usually a pretty good indicator that there's an overlay. I set my screen reader to read from top to bottom and all the content it was aware of is what's in the overlay. If I'd used the tab key, uh, my keyboard focus is constrained inside it. So again, I can't escape outside of the overlay into the underlying content. Um, and so as far as my screen reader is concerned, the first heading it would have got to on the page if I'd used that form of quick navigation would have been the cookie notice heading. So I can't do anything or go anywhere other than interact with this cookie notice and accept it or decide what I want to do with it before I go on to the site. So that's a really neat, uh, unavoidable way of implementing a cookie notice so that even screen reader users uh, give it their full attention. And that's pretty much what we need to do, even if only to let us all dismiss it in irritation and get on with the thing that we actually came to the website to do. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Leonie. It's always fantastic to get your, your perspective on these things. Um, oftentimes Thank it's you. easy for us to, to forget that not everyone is like us. <laughs> um, so we've got a couple of questions, if you're okay to answer them. Yeah. Um, one is that auto keyboard focus seems like a good thing to do for UX in some cases. An example for a two-factor authentication screen where you need to put in your six-digit PIN. Mm -hmm. Is there any way assistive technology can provide a hint to a web developer, like prefers reduced motion or data saver, to help us design more inclusive UX? Uh, there isn't, as far as I'm aware at the moment, but that's actually a really good idea. Kind of leave my keyboard focus to hell alone setting would be amazing. Um, no, I'm not aware of anything. And I, I do agree. I think there are, there are times and actually the 2FA is probably one of the really good examples. Um, you know, something like Google's search page where, you know, 90% of the time, the thing you're going to want to be there for is to search. That's arguably, uh, you know, another reasonable time to do it. But, but so often it happens when, you know, that's not almost guaranteed to be the thing you want to be doing on that page. And that's when it gets problematic. So actually, yeah, from a user's point of view, having a way to say, stop it, be lovely. <laughs> 